give people the same, the same thing I got from like the books and the films and the comics uh, and the movies that I enjoyed uh, sort of when I was a kid and growing up. There's a lot of stuff I sort of have enjoyed and do enjoy and I sort of want to be a part of that and contribute, like put something out there, sort of the same as I've taken it in and just sort of make people feel the same way I felt when I read something that was really good or, or watched something that was really good. I had a great art teacher in high school who really supported comic books and was really into comic books and he, um, he got everybody to, he said, everybody bring in, bring in a bunch of comic, you know, like bring in some of your favorite books. Uh, and everybody brought in like Image Comics and Marvel Comics and DC Comics and stuff like that. And I brought in some Far Side and some Calvin and the Hobbes. Everybody's like, those aren't comics. <laughs> These are comics. These superhero things. So my first like superhero comics was like I started picking up those Image nine, uh, 1990s Image Comics with Jim Lee. And but uh, no, it's Calvin and Hobbes is still still my favorite and still I think. I mean, hey, dinosaurs, right? <laughs> you know, like I don't think of myself as an artist, I think of myself as a craftsperson. Um, I think of it more as, as a craft and if you get, and then it's your job as a, as a viewer or something, if you take some art away from that, then great, that's perfect, that's, that's excellent, but, um, but uh, I don't put it on my business card. <laughs> you sort of deuce a little bit and you put it out there and you get some good feedback, it makes you feel great. So you keep doing it and doing it and then, I mean, that's how that got turned into a, I mean, that's how the, the very first one, I, uh, this self-published one I did, even got made is I, I just started working on it for fun and um, I put it out there and some friends were like, hey, you should probably finish this. Or like, please, come on, come on, finish it, finish it. And so I did and, and ever since then it's been a real slippery slope. So Delilah Dirk and the Turkish Lieutenant um, started off as just a 28-page 28, 28 comic, um, which was self-published. And uh, so since then, I sort of decided, well, let's expand upon that. And uh, that's become what it is right now, a 160-page uh, graphic novel, um, currently published in France through Editions Achilleos, but uh, not yet available in stores. North America. Uh, hi, I'm Tony Cliff. I make comic books and animation. Fake smile. Met a lot of the great artists working in Vancouver. We're really lucky. Uh, I, live in a, I live in a block over, uh, over in East Van where I think, uh, I think if you, um, I'm not including myself in this of course, but if you, uh, if you were to drop a bomb and about two kilometers square radius, <laughs> you take out some of the most talented artists in the industry right now. It's pretty exciting. <laughs>